Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Holy Eucharist, we ask our Lord Jesus Christ to help us see with the eyes of faith, especially in these times of uncertainty and doubt. And so to prepare ourselves to declare our faith in Jesus in this sacrament, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask Him for pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, Keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, from the day we heard about you, we do not cease praying for you and asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of God's will through all the spiritual wisdom and understanding, to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, so as to be fully pleasing in every good work bearing fruit and growing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with every power in accord with his glorious might for all endurance and patience, with joy giving thanks to the Father who has made you fit to share in the inheritance of the Holy Ones in light. He delivered us from the power of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of His beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has made known His salvation. The Lord has made known His salvation. The Lord has made His salvation known. In the sight of the nations, He has revealed His justice. He has remembered His kindness and His faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has made known His salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. The Lord has made known His salvation. Sing praise to the Lord with a harp, with a harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord has made known His salvation. with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you o lord while the crowd was pressing in on jesus and listening to the word of god he was standing by the lake of genesaret he saw two boats there alongside the lake the fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats, so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. 
for astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him and all those with him. And likewise, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus <clears throat> Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the experience of not seeing clearly, of not being certain about your future, not being certain even about ourselves, is a common human experience. Kapag tayo ay parang hindi sigurado, hindi natin nakikita ng malinaw ang hinaharap, ang mga mangyayari, ang mga darating, ito po ay uh, natural na karanasan natin bilang mga tao. And this is what the apostles, especially Peter, experienced in the story of his calling from the Gospel of St. Luke, the one that we read today. The experience of not seeing clearly. Peter, when he was fishing together with his companions, caught nothing. After all the night that they were in the waters, they caught nothing. They were not able to see where the fishes are. The waters may be murky. The waters may be not clear enough for them to sense where the fish are. But Jesus saw the fish. Jesus saw where the fish are. And also, Simon Peter was not also able to see not only the fish. Simon Peter did not see the worth of himself. That is why when Jesus was calling him to be his disciple, Simon Peter said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. Peter was not able to see clearly who he was. But Jesus was able to see beyond his sinful self. And Jesus told him and his other companions, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. Peter was only able to see his sinful self. But Jesus saw clearly what he will become, a faithful disciple, a fisher of men. Sa kwento ng pagtawag kay San Pedro, ay makikita natin bilang mga tao, kagaya niya, ay darating ang panahon na hindi magiging malinaw ang ating mga nakikita. Hindi tayo sigurado sa mga mangyayari. Parang nangangapa tayo. Hindi malinaw sa paningin natin ang mga parating na bagay. Pero sinasabi ni Jesus kay Pedro, Alam ko, nakikita ko, malinaw ang aking paningin. Hindi nyo man nakita nasaan ang isda. Ako, sabi ni Jesus, nakikita ko ng malinaw saan makukuha ang mga isda sa tubig. At hindi lamang yan, 
ipinakita ni Jesus kay Pedro. Si Pedro na nakita lamang ang kanyang makasalanang sarili, pinakita ng Diyos sa kanya na nakikita ng malinaw ng Diyos, hindi lamang ang kanyang mga kasalanan, nakikita ni Jesus ang isang alagad na si Pedro bukod sa kanyang pagiging makasalanan darating ang panahon ay isang magiging tapat na alagad ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. My dear brothers and sisters, our experience in this pandemic is like wading into murky waters. But Jesus tells us today, I can see where the fish are. I can see clearly even in the midst of these murky waters of the pandemic. Ang atin pong karanasan ng pandemya sa panahon na ito ay parang ganito. Parang hindi malinaw sa atin. Araw-araw, nag-iisip tayo, tataas pa ba ang kaso? Bababa pa ba ang mga kaso? Tayo ba ay pupunta na sa mas maluwag na community quarantine? O hinihintay pa rin natin linggo-linggo, araw-araw, ano ang mangyayari? Parang hindi malinaw palagi sa ating isip. Yan ang karanasan natin ngayong pandemic. Para tuloy may takot, pagdududa, pangamba, pagod ng isip, kakaisip, ano ba at talaga ang mga mangyayari sa darating na araw. Tinuturo sa atin ng Panginoong Hesus ngayon, malinaw ang kanyang paningin. Nakikita ni Hesus ang mga mangyayari. Nakikita niya kung saan tayo patungo. In the midst of these murky waters of this pandemic, Jesus can see where the fish are. And so, the prayer of St. Paul in our first reading today in his letter to the Colossians is a beautiful prayer for all of us. He said, do not, I do not cease praying for you so that you may be filled with the knowledge of God's will so that He may fill you with spiritual wisdom and understanding so that you can walk in the manner worthy of the Lord. Ang panalangin ni San Pablo sa unang pagbasa ay para maliwanagan ang ating mga isip, ang ating paningin na sa gitnaman ng kaguluhan, kalituhan, hindi malinaw na mga pangyayari ay liwanagan ng Diyos ang ating isip nang sa gayon ang ating tatahaking landas ay ayon sa Panginoon. St. Paul is praying for us that in the midst of this unclear uncertainty in this pandemic, God may fill us with His wisdom, with His understanding, with His clear sight. My dear brothers and sisters, let us look into our murky lives in these times of pandemic with the clear eyes, the clear sight, the clear vision of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. When our Savior says, Come, follow me, He also calls us to follow His example of prayer, to throw wide a net of prayer for others. 
Let us also pray in that generous way. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father, the bishops, priests, and all who have been called to be fishers of men may have the courage and perseverance to cast their nets in deep waters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That fishermen and all those who work at sea may have a harvest of God's bounty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have the courage to tell unbelievers the good news of our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may touch the lives of the sick, the sorrowing, and those who suffer in mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died in Christ may receive their eternal reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of all people, through these prayers, gather together the lives of those seeking to follow your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your Son, your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through Him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, 
it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We stand before the grand horizon, 500 years of faith, grateful to Totally yours, we give ourselves faithfully yours until the end to your mission, Lord. We give our yes.